Hey, Squire. Uh, is there a new link for the game? It says it, it's not responding. The site can't be reached. Took too long. Foundry is glitchy. Maybe try it in a different browser. I remember that fixed it for me a long time ago. Good idea. Holds tokens down on the splash page. I see how it is. Fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Let me try restarting my computer real quick. Okay, round two. <clears throat> I didn't that time. That's done.
Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Leader. Did we agree to the leader? I I thought we were just kidnapping a dude. I was like, I kidnapped somebody. But if you want the leader, you got the leader. We got you, Patrick. Body is a body. Hell yeah. Kirby, what planet did you say you were from? Didn't. <laughs> no. Do they wear hats there? I mean, yeah. Put a hat on. What kind? All of them? All of them? At once? My, this sounds like a fabulous place. I must visit it sometime. What did you say it was called? Don't worry about it. You're asking too many questions now, Admiral. Will you will you tell me for where, five where are you from? Uh, I am from. Where am I from? Kaji. 
I'm from Kaji. It's mostly water. That's where these mind fish came from, my drugs. Shall we go to a place and we all purchase hats? I feel like this would make this more of a bonded group. Don't you think so, Strebby? Oh, yeah. Got a hat for uh, Benno over here. What say you, Squire? We will be going to this desert land to hunt this leader. Do you need any provisions or preparations for that? No, I think I'm quite good, actually. The hat does look dashing on you, sir. Thank you. This one very, very much enjoys this hat. This one thinks that it's one of many that this one will be getting over the next while. Um, I look around the Citadel. Is anybody else wearing hats? A any, any particularly interesting ones? I approach. Squire, follow. This way. Right I must behind you. In inquire about this wonderful, wonderful hat. I approach. Hello there, sir. That is a quite fine garment atop your head. Sounds fantastic. Never heard of it. Are there many hats on Mars? Do, do they make them larger? Would you like some drugs? Can I have your hat? What is your name? Well, William, I would like your hat. This one would wear it with pride. Why? Because I find hats fascinating. I've never really seen them before. See where this one is from. It's mostly water, so we, we they don't wear hats. I see you They're have fantastic. a hat right Rimsical. now. Looks like a yes, admiral hat. I took his. <laughs> Yes, I took this from uh, Patrick Mason. Great gentleman. Huh, okay. Well, I mean, this is a pretty fashionable hat. It kind of, you know, it is kind of special to me. What I mean, you, so you, you want the specific... I mean, I, I know it looks kind of fashionable, like, a, a, you know. Um, and he kind of, like, lifts his hat a little bit and looks at it. Um, I mean... I no, I, I I prefer not to give you this hat. Why? Do you know anything about this Mars place? Is it close to here? It's not too far. I will give you some drugs for the hat. What do you say? I say no. I don't need drugs, sir. Okay. 
How many credits? Five. Oh, I, this is this hat means a lot to me. Well, five is a lot of credits. It's worth a man's life. What? Who said that? <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. I'm I'm side eyeing you too. I'm like what? <laughs> I point to Strabby. He will kill anybody for five credits. Yeah, I can just kill you and take the hat. I mean, uh, th that wouldn't be smart. I mean, wh why would you kill me for a hat? Uh, that wasn't what I was saying. I was just saying five credits is a lot of money. If it's worth a man's life, it must be a considerable amount of money. I'm no fool, sir. Yeah, I, I, I get you, but, you know, this, this man here, he points at the quarry and he says that he would kill me for a hat. He said five credits. I didn't say... I said a hat, maybe. Okay. Treby, pay him five credits. I'm going to pat my pockets and I'm like, hey. A little light oh, on credits that's, right that's now. Strabby. Sorry, Squire. These S words. <laughs> sir, sir, I'm afraid you spent all your money on the trip here. Didn't uh, Patrick give us some sort of payment uh i'm sure you'll find much nicer hats other places no offense good sir but there are nicer hats out there in the universe no offense taken what a trade he like sighs loudly what what type of trade you give me the hat And I give you drugs. Uh, I say no. Well, done all, this one has done all they could. But if we're going, and I'm just going to start talking to the party, like still in front of this guy. So if we're meant to go and uh, kidnap someone, is there anything that maybe we should purchase or find before we go? I, mean, I got no money, so... The guy's trying not to listen to you while you keep talking. <laughs> it, didn't we get 20k credits each? That was the idea, yeah. I was going to say, I don't have any on my sheet. That's why I was dead. That's why yeah. I didn't know. You gotta have them. I forbore. But but which one is it? There's there's five different ones. I can't remember if there was different levels of currency. No, it's just credits. There's no like gold or anything. Okay. So I guess I'll just put it in the far right column. Yeah, I I honestly don't know why there's so many, but that's how it is. Yes, yeah, so I just think if we're going, uh, this one just thinks if we're going to go kidnap somebody, we should perhaps purchase some things to prepare. And um, William, give me your hat. Look at, or he, he looks at the party and he's like, uh, are, are, are you serious? <laughs> What's it going to take, William? Listen. So uh, bugging him for this hat? You, you, you could it's find a other very hats. nice hat. I will probably... This one will probably never find themselves at Mars, Shh. this fantastical place you speak of. I would just... This one would just like your hat? It doesn't seem much to ask. He looks at the Turian and uh, he's like, Hey, uh... What, what's your uh, contacts with the CSEC? Which CSEC is like the police force and and the Citadel? Am I the Turian? No, oh, he he's his friend is the Turian. Okay, you'll be introduced here in a few. <clears throat> Turian.
Kurian like pulls up a data pad and finds something, and he starts like talking through an earpiece. I have drugs, and I have credits. Which would you like? William tells Turian, make sure you mention uh, about the drugs here. Turian kind of nods while talking on his earpiece. Okay, okay. How about ten, ten credits? Turian hangs up and says, "Yeah, he'll be. They'll be here in a few minutes." Great, more hats. And they, he looks at the party and stuff, and he says, "Sure." So, how much for the hat, William? This is becoming a boring conversation. We need to speed this up. I'm sure if we wait for the sec people, they could uh, probably finalize that report for you, the, the sale. But how many credits do you need? Don't worry, they'll, they'll, they'll help Smith you out. is not very intelligent. You know our Kabasin gel? Some Omni gel? My good sir. Uh, he thinks about it for a second. I mean, there are a few places around. Yeah, I mean, there's one that's, you know, any points, um, you know, a direction. It's not that far, right? Right down uh, this hall here. What Omni gel? I, I'm pretty sure they have uh, Medi gel as well. You know, some type of healing if you need that. Once uh, he's finished bugging him for this hat, <laughs> I'm gonna go over there. Bugging this guy for his hat until he stops me, or somebody stops me, or he gives me his hat. That's why the C set people are coming. A few minutes has passed. There was a human and uh, other Turian here. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, C sector is like a, a police force and a security force of Citadel to Citadel security. Um, they showed up, and uh, you know they were uh, they're talking to William here, and then they're like, "All right, what's going on here?" And William's like, "Well, this this, this uh, Sonar here, uh, yeah, he's uh, wanting my hat, and I you know declined, and then he kept talking about giving me drugs." for it um or credits one yes of the i two. was trying to trade drugs or credits for this man's house and he is speaking in circles and he has told me that you are here to finalize this sale so if you would just tell me the number of credits or drugs that he would like i would happily deliver them for his hat okay, and then uh one of the humans like look he obviously said no so you could uh, go ahead and move on with your life here um, there's other places to buy hats. Uh, I'm probably not as particular as this one, but you know, there's other uh, stores here in the Citadel. Um, so uh, if that's going to be a problem, then I'm going to have to put you through uh, our uh, jailing system. Jail an ambassador, ambassador of Kaji. On what grounds? Uh purely for annoying I our citizens here. I work for the great Admiral Patrick Mason. This is my squire. Squire, tell him. Uh-huh, and he looks at, uh, <laughs> at Thalo. At this point, I'm, like, looking away, like, trying to stay out of the situation, like, yes, he's very important. Hmm, okay. So it appears that this, you're this important. Year? This here is a bionic god who also works for Patrick Mason. So, on, on what grounds are you going to persecute me? Is it because I'm a Hanar? Uh, no. It's because you're strictly annoying the citizen here that kept saying that he doesn't want to uh, plead a transaction for the hat. No, 
No, he actually said that he was going to bring you here to complete the transaction for the hat. Yeah, Isn't my transaction. Correct, my transaction is no. So yeah, there you go. You like that? No, no sale. William, Will, William, you told me that when these men arrived, you would sell me your hat. Is this not correct? You said it in front of all these fine people. And then he, William's like, no, I said complete the transaction. I didn't say that you would buy it. That's so what it's complete the transaction means. Okay. I look around at everybody. Like, is William a liar? I mean, yeah, could be. He did say he didn't give you the. This hat. is just. This is prejudice against the Hanar. I'm filing. What's your name and badge number? Who might left? Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, gonna say I'm, I'm, I'm staying. Like, uh, uh, I'm staying there to talk to the Admiral. I never, like, left. Oh, okay. Hey, guys, can y'all hear me? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to the store real quick, but I, I'm still listening. Okay. I can talk. Okay. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so... this is racist. I want your badge number. Uh, I'm making a whole stink about this. I'm trying to get, like, people's attention at this point. Alright, uh, so people do gather around, but are just kind of there and not, like, really caring, and the other, some others might have maybe agreed on what is, and, you know, that's like a split house type of deal. Um, and, you know, like, alright, here, I'll give you my information. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here you go. Name is, uh, and then he says his name is Boyd and badge number F329. And um whatever. Um and like he's kind of rolling his eyes while he's you know telling you all this because you know it, it it's just ridiculous about people talking about hat purchases and he, you know the the owner of the hat doesn't really want to uh complete the transaction and you don't understand that so. William is a liar a cheat and a bad businessman and you two are kind of racist yeah come and on I you're am... making a big scene now William William you've blown this completely out of proportion I'm still not gonna sell you this hat that's that's fine but now look you have all these onlookers you're being accused and I just I really think this is because I'm a Hanar am I free to go am I under arrest is this one going to go to jail? As long as you understand that there is no sale being made. All right, Boyd F three two nine. This one will be. I'll have my tentacles pointed in your direction. <laughs> right. It's the equivalent of saying I'll have my eyes on you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I got it. And he's like, yep, he nods, and all right, y'all have a good day. As we're walking away, I'm going to just reiterate the entire situation (laughs) to my squire, even though he was there and watched it all happen. All right, let's go pan to Din. What what do you want to say to the Admiral, then? Uh, Honestly, it was just going to be more of a I want to get this started type of conversation. Okay. And I'm going to try and convince him that I'm in charge. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. All right. Um, I guess to, to fast track that, just go ahead and uh, fuck it, roll persuasion. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, I will. Wait, you're going to tell him that you're you're in charge? You're yeah, the yeah, that's the, yeah. Okay. Let's go. You are a bionic god. So. Oh my god! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Here we go. Here. Yes, I'm in charge because I am a bionic god. I will be here to do exactly what you need me to do, and I will execute at such a high level. And to be honest, between you and me, I will sacrifice my entire crew to make sure. Yeah, all your goals and my goals are met, so long as the credits keep flowing. 
Huh. I admire your passion there, sir. Um, but, you know, you, you don't necessarily, you know, I'm not looking for people to... Um, yeah, that's great. Okay, so, <laughs> like, uh, it, so it's okay if I'm the squad leader because I have really good experience. Yeah, um, you know, uh, you know what? If if you contact me, uh, you know, after your your job, letting me know what's going on, then I shall uh, continue to, you know, give you more, I guess, options on different missions. And it's, it's it seems like you have more experience in the situations here with missions. Consider yourself lucky to work with me. Yeah, okay. right, that's gonna. Kind of uh, nods and uh, writes that down, down on his and then dossier. I I kind of stand there and I'm like, uh, which 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 way to the to the which way which way scan and wait. Um. Well, he 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 like. There is a ship coming in the SSV Torrent, so he could go over to the docking area there, and he kind of shows you through the map where it is, and he can stand there and wait. <laughs> Assemble my team. Uh huh. And uh, I walk off to the docking area. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's the squad leader now. I'm not gonna tell anyone. <laughs> They've been doing very best not to tell a single person. All right. Um. That happened. So we, uh, I guess, uh, went, went back to you all there. Um, so are you just going to uh, go to a certain, um, I guess, shop to gather supplies? Or what are you all doing? I, I uh, would like to go to a shop, yeah. Okay. I'm looking out for, like, Medigel and uh, Omnigel and all that stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, we could do that. Um so yeah, you, like you got the directions of where to go, um, and y'all went into a shop, and you hear this. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. And uh, you know, you see the uh, person in front of the kiosk kind of perked up a little bit. Oh, hello! How can I help you all? We are trying to kidnap somebody. Do you have anything that can help that? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> we are attempting to go somewhere and uh, take somebody from their dwelling and bring them back. We are kidnapping. This uh, this is a, uh, like a human uh, male just kind of looking at the party. and uh, So so you're, you're kidnapping someone? Is that what, what's going on? Well, high on drugs. H high on drugs. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm just gonna pretend not that I heard. Yeah, I kind of disregarded that. Um, so here we have uh, medical supplies. Um, you know, uh, Omni gels. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. And then uh, there is a store uh, down the hall there that, if you want, like, you know, maybe some weapons or uh, modification for weapons stuff like that, you could go there. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want medi gels and stuff, this is the store. How much for these gels? Uh, and he goes through the uh, uh, his kiosk there. Hold on one sec. I had it somewhere. Yeah, sorry about my and our friend here. He's uh from a few star systems away. He he definitely didn't mean any of that what he said. We're not kidnapping anybody, we're just going to visit him. And he's like quite. Yeah, that that that's I I guess I understand that. That's kinda of weird that I've heard that y'all want to uh Kidnap someone, and I'm just gonna pretend, you know, that that's just 
you know, whatever. So uh, he looks through his uh, information here in the many jail, the many jail he found uh, that he has an abundance of. And, you know, he has some standard ones there. That's uh, roughly, it looks like 200 credits a piece. And these are like healing uh, cells? Yeah, it's kind of like um, a healing potions, 2d4 plus 2. The same thing for Omni Gels, the same price. Uh, Omni Gels are uh, roughly about the same price. Yeah. So, well, no, hold on. Oh no, no, it's more because it's like five hundred credits because it's you know modifying weapons and stuff. Buy ten of these healing cells. Okay. So you want 10 uh, many gels, and he uh, puts that in the information. Yep, that will be 2,000 credits there. Hold on. Can you also throw in a few things? Maybe um, a large sack. And he looks at the uh, party again. Uh, is he still like, kind of, uh, uh, I guess... Uh, enough to fit a creature inside, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and he again kind of <laughs> looks at the party. Is this true? Does he need this? Yeah, he yes. definitely needs it for Hanar stuff. For the oh. kidnapping. Kidnapping, okay. All right, well, whatever you say. Um, and he kind of looks through his uh, kiosk there. Um, I mean, I do have this kind of burlap sack here I could just give you for. Uh, 50 credits, if you want that. I, I, I would love that. And do you have anything that could keep somebody asleep? Uh, no. Somebody unconscious? N no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, medical stuff I could, I could do, and I do have some odds and ends here, but yeah. Well, where would I go to buy something, some sort of substance that would keep somebody knocked out? For a prolonged period of time. I mean, I have drugs, but I mean, it's not reliable. Hmm. I I, I don't know of anything. Maybe uh, a black market somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't think we have one around here. I, I could be wrong. Oh, good to know. Here, here are your credits. And I'll pay them fifty extra. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Squire, take take this sack and these healing cells. I'll hold them for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take ten as well. Ten, uh... Many gels. Ten many gels, and I'll grab four omni gels for now. Okay. Uh, what do you got me adding to my sheet, Adam? It's uh, ten medi gels and a, a sack that we could just make up. <laughs> yeah, just a sack. You, you, yeah, you can just add that yourself. Yeah, uh, a creature size sack. So once we knock this dude out, we can. I was hoping to get like Bill Cosby drugs so we can knock him out and put him <laughs> in this sack and then just drag him back. But all right so you just grab the item kit right like grab the yeah item. you could go through uh the items and uh item weapons no and do you sell any drugs no sir i just do medical and uh you know some some odd ends for omni gels that's about it no hallucinogenics, uppers, downers. Nope, not not here, sir. You don't have Omni Tranks. <laughs> okay. Can't seem to find this Omni Gel. Hold on, I got you. Or the Med Gel. Are you looking in the Mass Effect items or the D and D items? Mass Effect. That's not under item weapons. Oh, items gear. That's probably what it's under. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Many Joe um, and the Omni Joe. Yeah, there they are. The gear? Uh, yep. Item gear, yeah. So you got 10 Medi Gels? The large set. And I'm still in the shop. I'll just look to the party and say, uh, So, do we know anything about the person we are going to kidnap? Not a clue. He's like the 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 shop uh, guy is just kind of ignoring everything you're saying. Got to keep going through the kiosk. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it there. Um, and yeah, you got the many gels. Omni gel. Um, anything else you you all need? Looking through the shamans. Nope, that's it for me. Okay. And uh, are, are you sure you don't have any drugs? No, I I don't have uh, drugs. Inside check. <laughs> sure, go for it. Oh jeez, we can't just go around asking people for drugs. <laughs> So he, he, with that role, I mean, it's good enough, but like he, he he's telling the truth. He doesn't appear to be a person that's um, interested with drugs. Yeah, he's definitely not into drugs. <laughs> Some people aren't accustomed to that one of the star, star system, friend. I mean, drugs are just like booze, even. Especially in a citadel. <laughs> there's yeah, anything happened to me. Up. There's not bars in out. Out? I mean, there's the... Uh, there's other places, but like shopkeepers don't tend like these type of shops don't tend to have illegal things. Legalize it, man. Oh hell yeah! Maybe that's your mission as an ambassador. Depends what drugs I find. My drugs are legal, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So you all step I'm out, Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Um, and then Dude. you uh. You know, uh, you, you you ran into uh, the sorry that was um, helping you with uh, the escorting to the office there, um, and she uh, she mentioned that uh, oh yeah, the, there's a ship uh, for you all. It's called the SSV Torrent that you all are going to be flying in. Um, and let me show you where the docking area is, and uh, if you all will follow me. So uh, she kind of. Uh, you know, points uh, towards the direction and just kind of waves you all to follow her. Yes, let's go do Patrick Mason Proud. Do you have any more information on the person that we're trying to kidnap? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> she, she has no fucking clue. <laughs> so, um, she, she, uh, yeah, she goes, all right, so y'all follow me. Um, and in the docking area, you do see your fellow Volus there, and there is a um, Turian kind of talking um, to one of the dock keeps there, um, and that will be Mike. If you want to step in there and kind of introduce yourself. All right. I'm saying, no, no, these subsystems aren't calibrated right. We need to... Jesus Christ. Just reboot the system, okay, and see if it works. Then, if not, we're gonna have to do some serious work. All right, all right, sir. I understand. I understand. Uh, thanks for letting us know, because uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it was running properly before. How many missions has this ship flown? Uh, it's only been a couple. It's fairly new. Mm, mm, okay, still got the kicks to work out. Yeah. Very nice ship, though. Yeah, um, and if you're familiar with the SSV in Normandy, it, it almost looks like that. It's just a little more um, thicker. You know, it's not like as slim. Mm, um, thick. thick. <laughs> um, yeah, but got cheeks. Yeah, hell yeah. So uh, you see the the Volus there. Uh, then it's just kind of standing there. I'm, I'm assuming he's just kind of 
uh, putting his hands on his hips, kind of like thinking he's hot shit. Yeah. So, uh, do I know about this mission? Am I like a part of this, or do I? I need to find a way in. Um, I think um, you you would have gotten a message from the admiral. Um, okay. Yeah. Because you were missing, and then he was trying to look for you. Okay. Um, seeing a Volus, uh, I give like a polite greeting to the Volus uh, in whatever way is traditional. Okay. Uh, for the Volus. And I say, ah, what's your name, ma'am? Uh, it's Dean Jalid. Dean? Ah, Jalid. yes. I'm trying to figure out this Turian voice. Ah, yes, you must be Jalid. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, you you would have gotten like a dossier of like your potential like party members, and there's a volus there, and then eventually the other people will show up. Um, so you would have information of the party members and at least a general um, idea of what planet you're going and all that. Okay. All right. Uh, I say uh, greetings and well met. Uh, my name is Oppel. Uh, Apple Galanis, I'll be your support for this mission. What did you say your name was? Apple. I don't think that's... that's... no. You can call <laughs> me Ops. That's what they called me back on Earth. His name's Opold. No, that's my name. Yeah, that's something I'm pointing at this, you. This one is named Opold. He's... Oh, this will get interesting. <laughs> this won't do. This we'll call you do. Opes. Okay, uh, can I change my name to Gripple? Uh, that's what I thought I made my name was, and that's what I've been thinking in my head this whole time until I looked at my sheet. I mean, if you want to be Gripple, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Gripple, uh, Ops, Galanis. Uh, you you can call me Ops. We can call you Gripple, but Opal is just too close to Opal. Oh and... my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ops, the name's Sherby. He will kill anybody for five credits. If you need somebody killed, he's your man. Or less. Five, five credits seems or less. the risk you're taking on. <laughs> yeah, it's... Dirty job someone's got to do them, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> you just kill anybody for five credits? Like, even, like, ambassadors and presidents? Or, like, just yep. random thug? Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Someone was like, you want... You, you, you kill that guy for me for five credits? I won't even think. Just go over there and he'll be dead. Boop. Snap, snap. Quick. Uh, I whispered to one of the people I was just talking to. I was like, D -d did this mission have a budget cut? Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. I'll have you know I am an ambassador of the Hanar. Oh. They said to me. They, they said that, you know... They, they were very sad that I'd be gone for months, maybe even years, but... You know, I thought that I updated it so many times. The Hanar. Should be and on Dungeons and Dragons. Fine job of it, sir, and I give you a polite bow. Uh, Thank you. And whatever way is customary to the Hanar. Would you like some drugs? Oh, yes. Hey, Opal. We just had this discussion, man. What? You can't just he, go around asking people about drugs. He said yes. Do you hey. have any drugs? No. I was... You kind of implied you did. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. I'll take some drugs. I'm a man. This one is a man of the world. I would like to try. Oh, by the way, he, you, you do see that he's wearing an admiral hat. Yeah, like an official admiral hat. He says impersonating an... Officer on Pavilion is 10 years hard labor. You should be careful doing that. Why would I get arrested for impersonating when I'm doing drugs? I'm, did I'm you do admirals or anything? Do... Almost, almost certainly all of them, but not quite as open as you do. <laughs> no, this, is, this is my hat. It was gifted to me by one Patrick Mason. And you know, that's the admiral that gave you the information. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh,. He just says, cool. So these drugs you got, are they Hanar drugs? Or like Turian drugs? Earthling drugs? I love cocaine. Oh, I've never heard of this cocaine. This one would love to try some cocaine. Buddy, if you like hats and drugs, let me tell you about the utopia of Earth. All right? And this land that they call Texas. The biggest hats you've ever seen. 
I think your friend was telling us about uh, Mississippi. Where was he from? I can't remember. Tell me more like awesome place. of this Texas with large hats. Well, in Texas, see, everything is large. The vehicles, the guns, the, the food, drugs, the drugs. Yes. Even we like must... the restroom, like their toilets are bigger. Wow. Yes, because the people are bigger, so the toilets have to support <laughs> them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Squire, write all of this down. We must visit this Texas. What did you say this planet was? Earth. The Earth. human homeworld. It's quite close to Mars, uh, so if you were going to go to Mars like you wished, we would be right there. Yes, yeah, so we, can, stop. we can get an even bigger hat than that stupid <laughs> liar coward William. <laughs> So are we ready to roll out here, guys, or are we... Yes, are, are you... What's the plan? I just showed up. Are, are you aware of the mission? Yes, kidnapping someone. Details were light uh, in the note I was sent. It wasn't confidential. It was, it, was, it was pretty much telling you that you would go to um, a desert planet to figure out what's going on. There's some opposing mercenary force that needs to be dealt with, but you don't know about the kidnapping part of it. <laughs> oh, going okay. to be smoking black dabs. Okay. Um, so I would have gotten 20,000 credits too, right? Yeah, you would have. <laughs> um, I would have bought three Echo Cancel mods. It's a common armor mod. Okay. Uh, and a hip caddy for grenades and three Ooh. grenades. Ooh, okay. this guy knows things. Played the game. Um, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like... Yeah, you wouldn't know anything about the kidnapping part of it because that was after the fact. Uh, oh, okay. Because that's oh, what yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, that's yeah. what Tim's character was like mouthing on, and he made it that way. <laughs> okay. Did, did you make preparations? If you know what the mission is, did you make preparations? Yes, infiltrating some kind of mercenary gang, subduing them, pretty standard stuff. Where is your large sack, and did you manage to procure <laughs> any drugs that knock people out? He says, if you gave me a minute, I could head on the Citadel around some of the medical clinics. I'm sure they'd have something. Do we know the race of these people? Squire? Are we trying to do this non-violently? I thought we were shooting them. Well, we're, we're, the mission is to kidnap somebody. So I he didn't say that. Or his friends didn't say we can kill him. Like, they want that guy alive. We got to bring him back. Well, if the Admiral signed off on this, yeah, I can get us something that can knock someone out. Do we know their race? You wouldn't, no. Mm. Oh, I'm like asking a... I'm asking them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm asking uh, the the Volus and Hanar. It, I'm, I have no idea. What planet did they say we were going to? It was, uh... it was Asteria. Uh, it's, it's called Asteria. Um, it's like a Desert planet. <clears throat> uh, without um, knowing their race, I can't procure something that can knock them out. Why don't we just ask around what is the common species of Asteria? Oh, yeah. Can I search that? Does my Omni tool have Google? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I searched that up. What's the common race? <laughs> Hey Google. Hey Google. Yeah, yeah ask <laughs> Jeeves comes back in three thousand years. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, I shall tell you here in a second. I put the info on my sheet here. Alright, so as mentioned, it is a desert planet. Um, the uh, da, 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 da. it has it's basically human in a saris. Mm. Um, but that's like the like colonies that are there. Um, but mercenaries, the mercenary groups could have multiple races, as you should know, or species. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> their leader, so he might have a fancy race. 
yeah. you really, yeah, you really wouldn't know um, what's going on there. Humans in a sorry. I assume the medical bay on the ship might have something we could use to knock them out if we get close enough. No need to spend money we don't need to spend. Well, either way, this one has procured a sack. Squire, show him the sack. <laughs> I, I pull the sack out. And like, <laughs> yes, he, he, he thinks this is the best method. Does that have a, equipment in it? No. This is, this is for whatever we're kidnapping. We're going to put them in the sack. <laughs> ah. I'm just going to look at Opal and be like, you know... They said I, alive. They didn't mean I, in one piece. I am not a bounty hunter. I don't know. Strebby is. <laughs> this is my first time. Strebby, Strebby is more of a... Don't you just kill people? Or do you hunt bounties? No, I just kill them. I'm like making a grenade. With my omni channel, but... Alright. Really <laughs> well... I'm sure the barracks on the ship will have a pair of handcuffs that might be useful before we put him in the sack. Yes, and possibly I want some sort of gag. And I was hoping some drugs, but maybe I we can just give him mind fish. <laughs> you know, we could raid this mercenaries camp. Mercenaries always have drugs. And if they're this human mercenaries, they're going to have good stuff. This is true. Do humans I... have good drugs? Is this, is this something this one is missing out on? Uh, yes, like I said, you should go there. We have to go to... What did you say, Earth? Earth, Texas. You must go to this Texas. And then, uh, uh yeah, the, the ship that you all are going to be in is just docked there, so... Um, you know, whenever you all decide to go in there, you can. They, 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 they're expecting people to... Um, you know, enter the ship and get on their way to, you know, go to that uh, planet. Okay, I'm ready to go when y'all are. Yeah, I think I think we're ready. Okay. Onwards! Alright. There's a song they sing on Earth, Onwards Christian Soldiers. I never took the time to understand what it meant, but they sounded very, uh, uh, calm when they sang it. Indeed. Of quirky cultures. Hopefully you could all see this. I have to put on. can't see anything. Yeah, I'm switching scenes right oh, now. Okay. okay. <sighs> Loading our ship, let's go. How the hell do I bring you all here? Hello? I thought I activated it. Uh, it's loading. It okay. me it's 96. Oh, okay. Alright. Loading. Jin, where did you go? Bionic God's doing Bionic business. Somewhere. He, he was at the ship, though, right? Uh, Can't yeah. really fail that this geometry is no. Okay. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. Made you fail geometry, man. Yeah, probably. What is a square? What is it? Anybody else seeing the ship? I refreshed and I see it now. My screen's just gray. Maybe I just gotta refresh. It's probably gonna take a little bit to load. There's a lot of because I've I've made it deep. <laughs> I got yeah, bored. Just, okay. Just, okay. just refresh. It, it's it. actually yeah. dope. What you oh, make yeah. this one? Yeah, I made it with um, 
Dungeon Draft. Oh, it's got four levels? Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't even see the other two. So the one that you're in this, currently is the light. This man made a whole bathroom. Damn Let's right go. I did. I'm gonna go take a shit, yo. <laughs> he uh, knows. I'm, <laughs> he I'm knows. the game. I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> so there's a cargo deck, uh, as you see there with the tank left. There's the light deck oh, there. Shit. This is awesome. There's Sick. the living quarters with the meeting room inside the living quarters on the right. And then obviously the engineering deck with some fancy computers and some big battery engine thing. Fuck yeah, dude. So that's what I did. This is sweet. Right? Yeah, this is pretty cool. We have 10 toilets. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. We can all shit at the same time. <laughs> Those Hanara-sized oh. dumps. Came back just the right time for that? I like that. <laughs> yeah, the then, big toilets are going to RP. Are you, uh, dumps. I'd, I'd love you to take a shit? bath while five people are taking a shit next to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that way when they're all flush, the water gets boiling. <laughs> That's how you fill the bathtub. Oh, oh God. Gross. Fuck me. All right, so on the right, there is the armory um, in the fight deck. So you can... You know, tinker with weapons, put stuff in the lockers on the right, and then obviously on the bottom part of that is the airlock area. I don't see anything, by the way, sorry. Oh, yeah, you, you probably have to refresh. Yeah, refresh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we all had to. Was... Refresh. The massive map on. thing. Yeah, it didn't load for me until I refreshed. So this is go. our vessel? This is the SSV Torrent, yes. And we own this. No. I mean, sure. You own this. For now. This is a potential ship that you could own. Least. Jin, who owns this? <laughs> yeah, so don't go around That's a good stuff. question. We don't touch anything, okay? <laughs> I've given strict orders by our admiral not to touch anything. Oh, well, I don't think I'm going to listen to that. I mean, there's bathrooms. Come, we can go use those. All right. Yeah. So on the left there, there's the dock, uh, medical bay, um, and then like some research department there on the left. A research department. Come, squire. I'll go over to the research department. Start pressing buttons. <laughs> All right. Um, there are probably a total of 30 crewmen. I'm not going to fucking name every one of them. So fuck you. No, name them all right now. Shut up. <laughs> John 1 through 30. Yes. Um, but I did put in some, some key members. Uh, so your pilot, let me double check here. They all have the last name Carmine? Yes. I'm here for it. All right, the pilot of the Torrent is a male Corian. His name is Vol'jeral. Um, yeah, he's the, the pilot of the Torrent. Vol'jeral, a Corian, kind of like uh, Kirby's character there. Um, and you have a quartermaster um, that possibly could get weapons bought or traded, whatever. Um, and he's a Volus named Denton. And then you have a specialist, um, like a pilot for um, the drop ships, or maybe if you need to use the Mako tank. He's a Turian. His name is Lusco. Um, so you have a few people. Um, you need, you know, some things done. They could help you out with that. Um, obviously, the pilot will make sure you have to go to A to B with no problems. And obviously, he knows where you have to go at this point. But yeah, this is your your home away from home, so to speak. And okay. I, I kind of followed the formula of the Normandy, obviously, where there's the flight deck and then there's that little command center area where you go through the galaxy map right there in the center. Mm -hmm. Um 
But yeah, that's where I've kind of gotten inspired from. And then uh, obviously you can tell about the cargo bay there, the cargo deck. Living quarters, bathroom, lounge area, meeting room. That's where you could probably contact the Admiral or whoever else you need through that meeting room. And then the engineering bay, if people want to tinker and look at how the ship works. <laughs> um, I'd like to talk to that Turian specialty pilot. Okay. Yeah, his name is Lusco. You'll find him at the... Um, right now, he's probably at the cargo deck looking at the tank. So that's where he would be. Okay. I'd go there and I'd introduce myself. Let's say. Okay. Greetings. Ripple. 12th rank. Engineer. Nice to meet you. Likewise. This is... My name is Lusco. I've been uh, working on this crew for not too long. Uh, this, this ship's actually fairly new. I'm, I'm sure you've been told that. Yes, I have been told. I'm wondering, who built it? Humans? Turians? Asari? Honestly, it, it's a mix of uh, humans and uh, Corians, because uh, you know, I'm sure you know about the SSV Normandy, so they kind of you know, were fascinated about the ship, and uh, I mean, it, it, it's not exactly the Normandy, but um, you know, it, it has the look of it. <coughs> yes, I recognize that. Uh, and... It has the build quality. Um, I mean, it's not exactly the same as the Normandy, but it's pretty close. I, I think uh, I take pride on the ship here. I was looking through the schematics, and he pulls up all the information here. Here, take a look, and then he gives it to you. Tight. Uh, can I do a, what, perception or investigation check to see if this ship is up to my engineering standards? Uh, I will say... Because it's one of the new ones now. Wrong, maybe. Uh, let's do... Well, there's specifically an engineering one. You can roll engineering. Um, Should be in there. If not, then... Yes, I see it. I have plus five to that. All right, yeah, go ahead. Six, so Six eleven. plus five, eleven. Okay. Um, so yeah, you went through um, the checklist there. For the most part, it looks pretty much on par with what you expected um, okay. on, on your standard. So um, you don't see any um, real problems. It it it, it looks pretty good. Um, uh, at least solid enough to be in the ship and be proud to be flying in the SSV Torrent. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Could I really quickly procure a set of handcuffs and a sedative for humans and a sorry? Um, yeah, you could do that. Like he'll, uh, mention that he could, you could probably go to the armory for some, uh, handcuffs and then there's some sedatives probably in medical bay. All right. I'm just going to go and collect those. Okay. <clears throat> all right. That's all I wanted to do. Cool. Uh, anyone else, uh, want to do anything? Come I would, Squire, let's go. I was going to say, I would probably immediately be drawn to the armory to check out, like, if they have a place where I can work on my weapons and stuff. Okay. Yeah, same here. I'd be going and, like, trying to make some grenades and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, you definitely, like, I'll move y'all here. You and. So you all are in the um, armory section. There's a little workbench in the middle there, and then there's weapons uh, spread out. Um, so you could definitely tinker with whatever you need to, um, you know, whatever you can. Uh, if you get mods and stuff, you could install it yourself and need be there. Not a bad little setup. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's like lockers on the right there, so... You can store whatever you need and take out whatever you need there. Um, and again, south of that is airlock area, so. Throw my junky shotgun away, like just the trash one, just grab a new one. Like it's like falling <laughs> apart, taped up. 
Yeah, why not? I'm like looking at a new one, like. Okay, easy enough. You just kind of toss out the old one, and there's some new ones that you can uh, use. Um, there you go. Uh, and then the pilot um, kind of uh, mentions that, uh, yeah, we'll be heading towards Asteria. It's going to be uh, probably a good uh, four hours to get there, so sit back and relax. Great. That's <laughs> awesome to hear, about four hours. Uh, can I fly? No. Please. No. I've always wanted to try to fly one of these things. They look amazingly fun. No. Can you do He's a barrel gonna... roll or a loop? <laughs> no. I mean, I could, but no. I say this while I'm busting out a mind fish and getting ready to, like, oil it onto myself <laughs> to get, get high. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, I, I could. The, the ship is capable for doing it, but no, I'm not going to do it. Can I try to? No. What if you just look at the other way for a moment? No. <laughs> He's going to keep saying no. Fuck you. That, that's fair. Do you want to try some uh, drugs? No, I'm I'm okay. I have to fly a goddamn plane or a ship. You ever tried to do that while high? No, I'm not. Well, no, get away. I need I to be sober. Times. Yeah, probably. Oh fuck. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and set the uh, coordinates, and we'll be on our way. No, yeah, I'll ask um, Admiral Opal. I'm like, do you shoot guns? Like. Oh, not. No. I'm kind of a noble. I would never dirty my tentacles. Alright, I'll try to watch your back out there. You but it does look fun. Busy. Oh, I have oh, ways of oh, defending is. myself. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I guess it wouldn't have hired you if you didn't, right? Well, they hired me because. Of my intelligence, my charisma, my wit. You'll have that admiral hat, so. Yeah, I'll give him the salute before I go back to messing with stuff in here. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, so you all have pretty much the same type of resources that Normandy did. I, I based the design pretty much from the Normandy. Mm -hmm. So you got the Is research. Is there a room I can like calm the admiral? Uh, yeah, actually, like I said, it, it's in the room? it's in the living quarters. It's on the south side there. Here, I'll drag you. Hold on. <laughs> oh. I should probably pause it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is the the room um, okay. where yeah. I want to walk in and then lock the door behind me if possible. Sure. Okay. And then I'm going to call the Admiral. All right. It takes a, a few seconds, but the Admiral's on screen. Ah, uh, yes. Din, how could I help you? Geek crew that you have provided me is not competent. He uh, rubs his chin. What do you mean? You're terrible. But I just wanted to tell you that you're lucky that I am here. I will give you more when I land. All right, get me posted. Would we? Have, would I have seen him walk into that room? I mean, he's probably seen him walk up the stairs. I don't know if he would follow him, but yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that room was... We're on the same level as me, and I get like possibly hear him on the call with somebody. Oh no, no, yeah, it's a different level. Um, okay. so it's like this, like uh, upper level from where you're all at. Okay. Yeah, so so I'll get okay. high and try to do some research on uh the place we're going to. Okay. The Asteria. Asteria. Uh, let's see what I can find. All right. Um, I'll say go ahead and roll. I don't know. Let's do fucking history. History? Yeah, why not? Looking through and then it displays history of the planet. Uh, 
Not bad. All right. Um, I will tell you the info now. All right. So what you know about Hysteria is that um, it... It does have, as mentioned before, human and Ansari colonies um, spread out in the planet. Um, but before, they had these uh, uh, called black damp areas, which is like basically places that are unbreathable. Um, so, you know, there's like nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, stuff like that, that um, has... Um, it used to be the whole planet, but they're slowly getting rid of it, you know, for terraforming and uh, making more colonies. Um, uh, the particular area that you're landing in is, um, free of that. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, let's see, what else does it say? Yeah, it's pretty much a place where there's like, um, the colonies will do mining, uh, manufacturing, um, certain things, um, you know, basically for, uh, research for like you know longevity of uh, staying with life support with the colony stuff like that <clears throat> anything about the drug substances um particularly no but that's you know they they, they have had mercenaries there before that try to um smuggle or um craft um red sands um so that that might be a possibility um but uh as of right now there wasn't really that much reported um especially currently where you're going um they're the outposts that they're uh, at they're mostly researchers and there's not that many uh, military folk there and uh, whatever they can um you know with their military folk uh they usually uh come and go depending on the situation um so um, it's just like a research camp, mostly. <clears throat> All right. It's pretty much uh, the planet. And I do research on the mercenaries we're going after. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, history? Yeah, history will be fine. The nat 20 plus 3. Oh, shit. All right. Big boy. All right. So you've, you've heard different variety of mercenaries come and go in the planet. But uh, since you have a natural 20, you've heard rumors that there's a certain um, a mercenary group called the Eclipse. Um, so they might have something to do with what's going on with the outpost that you're trying to figure out what, you know, what they're doing with. Okay. Uh, with my uh, Nat 20, would I know what kind of mercenary group they are? Are they heavily equipped? Are they scrappy, organized, or like yeah. criminals? Uh, um, I think they're, with that, yeah, with the Nat 20, you know that they're somewhat organized. Um, they have some weaponry, so they could fight back from what you know about Eclipse people. Um, so they, they know how to fight. Okay. Um, and you know, you, you know that um, they there there's some that may be uh, past military, you know, different species, not necessarily human, or sorry, but you know what I mean. There, there's different variety of people. And is this a local merc group, or are they galaxy wide? Oh no, this is galaxy wide. All right. So that's what you gathered from your natural twenty. <clears throat> All right. And what's the planet name again? Uh, Asteria, uh, A S T E R I A, Asteria. All right, and since I'm asking questions, real quick, uh, Rubric, you're a Volus. What's your name? Uh, Dean is a D I N. D I N. Yeah. All right. And uh, Count, your name is Thano. What race are you? I'm a Drell. Drell. And Kirby, you're a Quarian. Uh, what's your name? Kirby. Kirby. All right. And who's the Squire and Master? <laughs> squire is Count. <laughs> All right. Squire is what Adam's character calls me. All right. Yeah. All right. I got that. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. That's all the research I wanted to do. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, the that it's about four hour travel, um, and you'll be heading to an outpost uh, that somebody will greet you and tell you more information about uh, what's going on. Um, and let me see here. All right. Um, so, yeah, if anybody, if everybody is good to go, I'll uh, go ahead and switch to the outpost. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. All right, let's activate boom. All right, so the north there, you see the little um, yellowish light area. That's where the drop pod's going to be landing uh, when you get close to the planet. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know... Pretty much it's a, it's, oh, yeah, I forgot, Jesus. Yeah. I didn't even do that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. You should see the, the little outpost, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so like I said, over here at this little yellowish area, that's where the dropout's going to be dropping y'all off um, from the uh, SSV torrent. Um, and a little bit of this area, like, um, you know, th there are some um, the water is scarce around here, obviously. You see, like, a little river here. Um, you know, it's kind of a dry planet for the most part, but um, there are some water. Um, All right, so once you're landing into the planet here, let me drag your toe. All right, um, so you'll be landing into this outpost, and then there's a what looks like a, a humanoid figure waiting outside the dropship. So when you get out of the dropship, it is a uh, a human male. His name is uh, goes up to you. Goes hello. My name is Captain Mark Noble. Welcome to this outpost. Um, oh, Mark. And and you know we we are expecting people to hopefully help us out uh, with this situation here. Uh, so if y'all could follow follow me, and then uh, we'll go to my little office here so we could talk in private. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. I I did not hit that woman. Uh, I did not. Okay. All right. If y'all could follow me, and then uh, he'll uh, escort you to here. What race did you say this person was? A uh, human. Okay. Is Mark wearing a hat? That sakes, yeah. What kind of hat? It's a basic hat, really. It's a military hat. It's not like a... Like my hat, but worse. Not as fancy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's not as fancy. Alright. So he escorts you to a little office here. Um little uh, living quarters here as you see with other buildings around it's kind of a stony brick uh, building um, that they've put up for the outpost and then um, as you walk by that tent there in the middle um, it's just a bunch of people uh, like I said it's like a research outpost so you see a bunch of researchers going through paperwork data pads there's like benches sprawled everywhere in that tent um, and then when you walk in here and he uh Make sure the door was closed. And uh, he goes, yeah, I, thank you for coming over here. I'm not sure if you all know, but this is mostly a research camp. Um, and I, I only have a few people at my disposal military-wise. 
Um, and I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, we believe that there's some type of mercenary group that, um, you know, that's kind of interfering with our work, uh, quite frankly, because we're trying to go through and dig out stuff through tunnels and everything. And, um, you know, we sent military people over there, but they were driven out because apparently there's a number of them um, shooting back, and I didn't want to risk losing so many guys. <laughs> yes. So uh, he continues to say, um, I, I don't know what's going on with these so-called mercenaries. I, I just, you know, want to continue our work here. We're trying to make sure this planet is livable. Um, we're trying to get all kinds of minerals and stuff, you know, research, make sure we can uh, make this whole planet uh, terraformed and uh, ready for, you know, colonies. Right. Uh, discussing it with them. Uh-huh. And how did that go? Um, well, well, let's just say when, uh, and he tells you where, um, this, this area is, it's about, um, they have like half a mile from here to the east. Um, there's like a tunnel system and everything. And, um, you know, from what we gathered was that, uh, you know, the, these, these, Mercenaries, these hooligans, I don't know what they are. They started um, shooting at us, telling us to back off from what they were telling us. So I don't know if it's, you know, they're trying to, uh, you know, smuggle something. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Did you have the coordinates of the last known location? Uh, yeah, I could give that to you. Um, and like I said, it's about half a mile or so from east from here, and then I'll give you the coordinates here if uh, you want to, um, you know, get this information. Um, we do have like a small area for you all to, um, you know, rest if need be or uh, something like that. <laughs> it's okay. It's not needed. I'll take the coordinates now to my data pad. Okay, and he uploads the data, and then you have the information there. All right, gentlemen, let's get to this. Um, uh, can we say that I grabbed from the armory a shotgun, since they're just letting us grab stuff out of the armory? Yeah, sure. They're all, like, you know, the basic starting weapons, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they have sniper rifles there? Um, if you want, yeah. Uh, I just want the scope. Okay. All right. Easy enough. All right, yeah. I'm ready to go. Well, what what is the plan here? So they they have an outpost at some location, and we need to extract this one individual. Uh, well, I mean, as mentioned, there was numerous gunfire at my men. I don't know how many exactly are at this so-called outpost. I don't know how many. Is there, there, again, it's like a tunnel system that we were going through, and then we were just stopped by these number of people. I don't know how many. Did you notice any sort of leader? Commander? Captain? Like me? Who's the clear leader of this group? Yeah, and you point your fucking admiral at <laughs> Uh, no, no, I didn't notice any, I mean, they, I never heard of any leaders, um, like I said, they're mercenaries, they, they probably have a leader somewhere, um, but, you know, it's a possibility. What about drugs? I mean, I don't know, it's possible they might have drugs. Do you? No. But this is a research camp, you, <laughs> we, we, we don't deal with drugs we need to have sober minds to help with our uh possibilities of making this planet livable i very loudly call down the mako okay i'm gonna look at uh not opal <laughs> gripper gripple 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 D didn't you say that humans loved drugs 
Earth humans do. Military oh. humans love them in private. So you don't love drugs? Oh god, the Mako's here. Let's go. <laughs> yes, uh, good call. Let's let's move. Uh, we need to be back on the ship before nightfall, which is subjective, but it doesn't matter. What does nightfall matter? Oh, don't you worry. Aren't we going to kidnap somebody? Oh, yes. Can I insight check to see if this uh, Mark does drugs? And sure. Me? Yeah. 14. Um, no, I mean, he he doesn't look like he does drugs. Um, like a anything hard anyway. He could have like maybe alcohol here and there, but not like hardcore drugs. Or even a little bit of weed. I whisper to the Hanar, if you drop this, I'll give you some cocaine. I go silent for the first time ever. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, do you have lungs? I don't. This one does not know. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Most substances this one can find a way to put into their body. Just hold on, let me put a goddamn picture of the Mako. I hate that it shows it there, but it doesn't show it when I drag it in. Uh, Where I'm this... from, a lot more people do drugs. It's kind of weird, people around here. He says, people around here, I say, people around here do drugs. They just keep it on the low. Why? Many cultures have a shame about drug addiction. Uh, it's seen as unprofessional and inefficient, which has no place in a military environment. Oh, is it impolite? To repeatedly ask people for their drugs or whether or not they do <laughs> drugs, yes. If you know they do drugs, it's very polite to offer. Well, that's what I thought I was doing, you know? I have something nice, I want to share it. Have you heard of the word discretion? No. Mm, yes, I'll teach you about that. Uh, can we go to the Mako? <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm getting the token. Okay. So discretion means that you don't there are certain topics that you just don't broach pub publicly with strangers like that. You know, drugs are more of a, a thing to do in private with yourself or friends. I mean, yeah, they could do drugs, but that's fine. Well, All right, I think I got it. Taverns exist, do they not? I've been to many establishments where they serve all sorts of mind-altering substances. Most cultures uh, distinguish between hard drugs and alcohol. What about light human, drugs? Human, even that person over there does drugs. He does it in a form called coffee, a very light drug that is commonly <laughs> shared amongst humans. <laughs> but the drugs that you are talking about uh, need discretion. Does that make sense? The more fucked up you get on it, the more discretion you need to apply to it. Scale of 1 to 10 on how fucked up it gets you, when should I apply discretion? Because the mind fish to me is like probably the equivalent of drinking an alcoholic beverage to you. <laughs> mm, I see, I see. Mind but it fish. is a drug. It is not an alcohol. It is not fermented in any way. It is a mind-altering drug. If we're talking about military personnel, anything above a two, you should be very discreet. Okay. All right. Well, that, yeah. Um, I should have everything saved here now. Okay. So you should be able to go here. I'm going to put so the Mako here. This camp, is it that we're going to, the Merc camp, is it above or below ground? Uh, well, when you get to the coordinates, you notice that there was a tunnel. So oh. there's a tunnel um, that goes through a few different ways. Um, you're probably seeing darkness right now, but I'm trying to activate the token so that you all could see it. I think Mark mentioned a tunnel as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
Somebody finally explaining discretion to Opal. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Um, do you see anything now? No. 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 All right. Nothing. Let me let me let me see if that works here. I'm gonna try to give you ownership for the Mako itself. I'm learning. No? Nope. God damn it. I'll refresh just to make sure. I do not own any token with vision in this scene. Funny, because I made everyone owner of this Mako. Whatever. I'll fucking drag your guys in here. Mm -hmm. While we're walking to the Mako, mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Opal about a store on Earth he would like called Lids. <laughs> yeah. Do they, do they have a Lids in this Texas with very large hats? In Texas, not so much. <laughs> Lids is more urban. Texas is more country. They have Western stores uh, where you can buy cowboy hats and the like, I'm told. I've only ever been to New York City, but people talk about Texas a lot, especially the people from there. You just used a lot of words I, this one does not understand, <laughs> but it all sounds very fascinating. Are you an ambassador for what planet are you from? I was born on the Turian homeworld, pa homeworld Pavilion. But my ship crash landed in the Earth in war against the the Reapers. So I spent some time there recovering and then spent some time helping the humans get their mass relay working again. You crashed on Earth? On Earth. The ship I was on uh, was shot down. Fascinating, fascinating. Please tell me you see the map. No, sir. God damn it. I'm going to refresh. Yeah. If you go into, like, configure the scene and go into lighting and just make it, like, unrestricted. Okay. Maybe that'll true. work. Boom. Yeah. There you go. All right. So you see a tunnel here. Um, so yeah, basically you see a few paths here and I have the Mako here. So, um, you all are, drive. <laughs> our, our special pilot is driving, right? Yeah. You have the specials driving if you will. Tight. Um, yeah. Um, hold on. Specialist is. What's the specialist name? Let's go. Let's go. Le specialist. Let's go. May I, may this one drive? May I try it? No. He's, he's like try, treating you like the people that says, are we there yet? No. And then, uh, you know, basically you're traversing through this tunnel. Um, and then he's like, all right, where, where should we go? Should we go straight or go to the right? Do we have sonic scanning capabilities? Sure. Yeah. Let's scan the area if possible. Okay. Uh, let me see what I got here. Let me push some buttons here. Boop, 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 boop. A roll. I don't know what I'm rolling, but I'm going to roll. <laughs> Not that good. Um. All right. So, according to my assistant here, and he's going through the diagnostics, um... There's a few, a couple of buildings here, but I, I don't, I can't tell if they're masking their signals of, you know, if anybody's there or not. I might have to like mess with my uh, system here. Mm. Do we pick up any weaponry? 
he looks through. I mean, there are, looks like, uh, further down, uh, a couple of turrets, but they seem to be deactivated. Uh, I turned to the person that said they were in charge. Was that the Hanar or the Volus that's in charge? <laughs> that's between them now. Well, uh, I respect the hierarchy, and there's a person here with an admiral hat, so I say uh, to the Hanar, uh, I think that we should go to the place without the turrets. Clear that first. I'm going to very, very, very subtly lean over to uh, Thano. And which way should we go? What should we do? <laughs> Bang your first mesh, and I was just going to leave. No, no, tell them what, what, what do you think? What is your input? I leave this into your capable hands. No, tell me what to do, Swire. It is an order, directly. I am a biotic god. I'm going to start to walk toward the building to the right. You get <laughs> out of the Mako? Yeah, yeah you why not? Right. Why not follow that one? As soon as he starts doing something that anybody would notice that he's going in a direction, I'm going to be like, I think we should uh, head to the right. I think that is the right thing to do, and I thought of that all by myself. <laughs> and let's go to the right. Does I the, have decided. Does right. the Mako actually have a turret? Yeah, I mean, it's just like the game. It has a Mako oh, turret. Perfect. No, I get out and walk. Oh, okay. I think you could control your shit now. I, I unpaused it, so you should be able to. Uh, there you go. To everybody getting out and walking, uh, I give one of my three echo cancel mods, uh, which silences your footsteps. Okay. I I'm stuck in the map. You could just, like, in the wall here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just pull me out. Oops. Same for me. Thank you. There you go. All right. Uh, we have radio contact with the Mako, right? Yeah, you'll have radio contact. He'll he'll just stay right at that intersection area. All right. Uh, who wants the echo cancel mods? I'll give away all three. I don't know what that means? Uh, it silences your footsteps. I don't have footsteps. <laughs> so yeah, you don't need it. It's floating. <laughs> I say, and my stealth is ridiculous, so I really don't need it. Okay. Uh, I'm always loud, so I'll take one. Yeah, echo cancel, armor mod, your footsteps make no mo noise, and you have advantage on stealth checks. That rely on silence. Well, that definitely would be helpful for you, Kirby. Squire, make sure you have your sack ready. Of course. What's this? I start, I start to run, by the way. I can't find it in the items. It's under mods, uh, echo cancel. If you go to mods uh, on n7.world and sort by cost, it'll be the fifth, sixth one down. I got you. Hold on. Or right here, I can put a screenshot of it. There we go. Oh, okay, I was looking at items. Yeah, yeah, it's under mods. Are we sneaking in with this sack and gonna fucking bore at this leader? I'm gonna pull the sack out and be like, here, you carry this. Oh, Squire, you, you are meant to take the sack and sack our targets once we see them. This is your duty. All right. Um, so you go up to the building. Um, it, it looks like it's just a, you know, a, a makeshift stone building. Um, and you notice there's like some type of trash bin outside at the door. Um, and when you get closer, you don't hear any talking. What's in the trash? 
I bang on the door. <laughs> and I'm screaming, I, we need help, we need help. Do we? What's the trouble? <laughs> Look around. All right, so when you're banging, you hear nobody uh, at all. There's no no commotion, no uh, footsteps, nothing. And I will help you. What do you need assistance with? Yeah, he, get his door open. Hold on. I'm looking through the garbage can. While they're trying to get the door, are there any windows or anything? No, this is just a brick wall type thing. Okay. It, it, um, it... Oh, you're going through the trash? Yeah. All right. <laughs> roll, roll investigation. Jesus. Investigation? Okay. Oof. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Well, nothing's in there. It looks like there's a couple of half-eating eaten food. Looks maybe like human pizza, you know, human... Well, not human, you know what I mean, like pizza. You touch a turd. It looks pretty good if you're hungry. Oh, I don't... This one does not eat pizza, but I heard this is a delicacy. Here, Squire, eat it. <laughs> um... I think I'll pass. Are you sure? It's a. Uh... I've heard it's quite good. Would you like to try it? You might like. No. It. <laughs> Usually, when you're hunting, you don't make a lot of noise. Okay. <laughs> like walking out, loading. Well, not loading, which is getting the shotgun out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Dinja leads banging on the door, and there was no answer. There was no footsteps. Where are we going to check this door? Are you going to go inside? Yes. I turned the door up. Uh, it's locked. Oh, you, you, it's probably not a door lock, but... You, you want to be my squire, too? If you'd like to apply for the position, you could, I guess, fight. It's definitely Stay locked before. right now. Uh, so if you try to open it, it's locked. Earth clad tomato. Excuse me? I'm calling Jamaico. Yes. Hey, go ahead and shoot the walls. I I deactivated uh, stealth mod. Are are we doing this? That's what he's asking the party. You you really think that's a good idea. You no know, no one answered, right? So there shouldn't be anyone inside and the door's locked. Well, we're supposed to. Uh, we, we we should be quiet. This is a thought I had all on my own, but maybe we should try to keep a lower profile. I'm gonna pull out my hacking tools and try and hack the door open. <laughs> all right, go ahead and uh, I don't know. Roll. Uh, was it electronics? Maybe. Let me see. Is there a hacking one? I think it's just electronics. Um, if I wanted what to that? cast, yeah. Oh, you actually use it. There you go. If I wanted to cast target painting, does that go through walls? Oof. Oh shit, Ooh, that's not good. Uh, so you 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 look like you're you're going through something, but then it says access denied. Uh, so you said targeting walls. Uh, if I wanted to do target painting, which is basically scan an eight meter cube within range, mm -hmm. would it tell me uh, uh, if anybody's on the other side of this wall? Uh, let me read. Hold on. Target painting. Hold on. I thought. Uh, I mean, I guess technically, yeah. Is each one of these cubes one meter? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to scan uh, uh, an eight meter cube on the other side of this wall. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and do that. Use the power. Um, and you don't pick up anything. It seems kind of silent, like, like you know, you heard nothing. Uh, when he was, uh, you know, banging on a door, so maybe there's no one around. I, uh, 
don't believe there's anybody in here. Why? Kick the door down. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm not exactly <laughs> the strongest. Um, actually, I think I'm. Who's Chunky? Chunky. I mean, <laughs> didn't Chunky? Is, <laughs> is the Chunky? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Firing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at, uh, oh, Strebby and be like, you're a man of stature. Why don't you uh, see if you can't put your shoulder into this door? Oh, yeah, step back. I got this. Oh, God, I, I, go for it. Um, I have something. Mm-hmm. Um, don't have something? Fucking liar. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's a shit, dude. Oh, I do. I'm gonna start like messing with my leg. It's like a robotic leg, and you see like a little like pump on it, like a little like looks like a pogo leg taped on. Sure. Yeah. And I'm gonna use this on the door. Dude, Spectre Gadget. <laughs> okay. Just trying to just bust it open like okay, um I would say you know what? Just for shits and giggles, roll a d20. Stand back. I got this. I'll just put my leg on the door, then I'll pull the switch. What's your strength oh. modifier? Let me see. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have a two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, at first, when you kicked it, nothing happened, but... Uh, you're like, all right, all right, let me try a couple of times. So I'll, I'll say after two, three tries, you finally break it open. Yeah, it's all rust. I need to fix up my leg. <laughs> it's like, boom. So when you walk in, um, it's pretty much like a, looks like a living quarters area. There's like a, an oven, some, some fridges, shelves, table like with chairs. I would like to look around for drugs. <laughs> All right. Discretion, man. Well, I already kicked the door open, so that's kind I, of... I'm just looking. I'm not, like, flipping tables or anything. I'm just using my eyeballs. All right, go ahead and roll uh, Perception. Jesus. Um. All right, so if you look around, you don't see anything... Uh, I guess drug related that you, you you could think of. I mean, there's like papers and stuff that says nonsense about, um, you know, the uh, planets overall, minerals and rocks and all that. But other than that, there's nothing. Some boring papers about minerals and rocks. Little drugs in here. Oh, barrels. Yeah. Don't want to check the place. I'll cover the door. I say with the seventeen uh, there, you, it's just basically like. Alcohol and wine on those barrels. Why well, take these barrels? <laughs> I'm looking through the papers that he was looking through to see if there's any signs of where everyone's at. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then go ahead and roll. I'll say investigation on that. Investigation. Nice. Um. The paperwork there doesn't show anything particularly, but you do notice that there is a data pad next to. The uh, bed like end table there. So I'm going to pick it up. All right. Uh, when you pick it up, um, you notice that there, um, there is some sort of email. Uh, let's see here. What does it say? Okay. So it says, I'll copy and paste it, but I'll read it too. But it says you better remember to get your act together. The boss doesn't like it if you keep forgetting the code. The code is 49059. You make sure you bring some of those red sands over at the warehouse because the boss wants to make sure to get as much profit as possible. Um, and she doesn't like to be, uh, you know, uh, hold on. She can make for us and, you know, how much profit and we can 
leave this godforsaken planet. Don't forget it. Remember that code for the life of God. Make sure to remember it. Um, and then, uh, here, I'll paste it into chat so you can see it. Would I notice yeah. him looking through that shit? I mean, you, you probably saw him pick up the data pad and stuff, yeah. Squire, what does that say? We need to head to a warehouse. For what reasoning? I'm just going to look at him. Drugs, of course. <laughs> of course, great. Grab three of those barrels. Put them on your hand <laughs> if you don't mind. Um, we'll come back for those. We have a mission to complete. Oh, and no, I, I intend to drink them along the way. Jesus. Well, this then one you needs can, something for the road. Then you can carry one, sir. I will grab a barrel <laughs> and, <laughs> and start drinking. Well, All by right. drinking, I mean pouring it on myself and like absorbing it into like the layer of ooze that surrounds me. All right, roll, roll a constitution. See what happens. No, I don't Do want it. To. Why not? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh yeah, you you dropped like, you know, it, it's not even that much wine or alcohol or whatever. It's just a splash, and then you're just fucking trashed. I dropped it in. You know, I d this one doesn't think they say it enough, but I love you, man. <laughs> I put a tentacle around you. <laughs> what's uh what's mike's mike what's your character's name uh ripple uh but you can call him ops ops all right i'm just gonna walk seeing the, the all the the bs that's going on i'm just gonna walk past them and go up to ops and be like Did you notice a warehouse when we got here the scans picked up another building perhaps that's the warehouse that's where we need to go I found some way. intel in there. Yes, the can I see that intel? I'm gonna hand him the data pad. Okay. It appears the leader that y'all want to kidnap is female. If our goal is to wipe out all hostiles and kidnap the leader, then we should not shoot on or legally shoot any female subjects we come across. Just because we're supposed to take her back doesn't mean she has to be in one piece, merely alive. I mean, I'm used to just killing everybody, but that's fine. <laughs> what, what if we, what if we don't kill anybody? Hmm. What do you propose? You just sneak up, sneak up, and put her in the sack. Yeah. Just walk out. Just walk out. If anybody asks, give them drugs. Why don't you hang back on this one? Why? And I pour more alcohol on myself. Oh, yeah. You're getting more trashed. We we need someone to work security for the Mako. It's the most valuable asset here. Ah, then this will be my position because that is... Yes. You just stay the farthest back and make sure that the Mako doesn't disappear. These human drugs are very potent. All right. That alcohol I was talking about earlier. It's like so equivalent to that. it's like equivalent to him like drinking moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what it's like. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna pull out my sniper rifle and try and like scan this warehouse building. I want to pull out my sniper scope and do the same thing. Okay. Um, so for now, for this area here, what you see, like as mentioned before, are two deactivated turrets, um, and it does look like there's like some sort of gate in the middle, um, but it doesn't seem to be the warehouse that they're um, talking about. It just looks like maybe some sort of uh, area that might control these turrets type of thing, you know, like a small base. <coughs> And there are, you know, different pathways uh, more north okay. through the tunnels. Can we, fit, can we fit the Mako through this area? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Because when you when you look on the ground, you'd notice that there's footsteps and, you know, past vehicles and stuff. So, yeah, Mako could go through. 
Let's drive the Mako close and see if those turrets activate. Can I do it? Can I drive? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. Should we drive or should I just try and sneak up there? No, the the pilot. The pilot can drive it up there. Mm. True. I mean, uh, if you want me to go up there, I, I could check it out and see if they'll fire at me. I mean, if anything, I'll destroy those fuckers. I mean, it's not, it, look, it doesn't look that formidable. Yeah, they look like janky turrets. Yeah, they don't look that well kept. <laughs> Yes, drive up there, and if they shoot at you, just destroy them. Heard. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drive up, and I'm going to roll just for fun to stealth and see if he succeeds. Mako stealth. Uh, Our Mako funny. is all black. <laughs> yeah. Pink except, except for the chromed out wheels and spinners on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> That are dollar signs. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so, I, is it, so he drives, and then the, the turrets activate. And then he's like, all right, well, time to destroy these things. And then I'm not even going to roll for initiative on that. They're just destroyed. Right, but I assume Hold this on. stuff uh, is broken for this cave system. <laughs> yeah. Hold I'm going to go in inside the base and see if there's anything in there to... Like good controls for farther up ahead or anything. And see that that's how much damage that it would have done, so <laughs> yeah, they're dead. How do y'all have custom dice? Uh, if you go if you go into like the far right game settings mm, and okay. your right hand menu, then uh configure settings and then dice so nice. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. So they, they, when you go up, you do hear some commotion inside. Um, it sounds like there's some sort of conversation. Shit! What? What happened? Hello. Uh, hello. Who, who's yeah. there? Oh, I am Opal, ambassador from Kaji. I'm a Hanar. Nice to meet you. How how do you feel about doing drugs? Drugs, they they kind of converse with each other. Drugs. What what, what drugs? A mind fish. A potent, from Kaji. But do you have drugs to trade yourselves? This is the real question. Why don't you come on out and we can have this discussion? Hearing him say that, I'm gonna like move off to the side and have my weapon ready. Okay. I I. I... I don't know, man. Uh, and then they like converse with each other. It sounds like there's two people in there. Oh, God. Here, yeah, and I will take out some drugs while I'm like sitting on the top of this Mako. My mind fish. All right. Um, let's let's roll persuasion. Let's see what happens. I practice discretion, so. True. Eleven. Okay. I'll say one of them walks towards the door. The other one kind of stays stays back hesitantly. Yes, come. Let's let's partake in some drugs and perhaps come to an agreement. Yes. Huh. All right. Then you'd see this guy here kind of step out. Hey, there's some drugs, huh? And then, he, then the other guys inside. No, you idiots! Get back in here. And, uh, you know, if you want to do something count, you can do it. Yeah, I'm just going to immediately uh, grab him and, like, drag him off to the side with my pistol in the, in the fucking side of his head, like, hostage style. Okay. All right. Um, I guess go ahead and roll what? Grapple? A grapple? A strength check. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll help myself. Oh. Oh god. Very strong. <laughs> Neither am I. Oh, you should be strong. Well, hopefully stronger than him. Let's see. Nice with Ted. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see what I'll get. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, minus one. Um. So he's like, unhand me. Starts like elbowing you a little bit. Get off me. And then, uh, I guess at this point, uh, roll initiative, huh? Okay. Let's go ahead and make this guy show in here as you heard the other person. And how do I... Oh, oh, I, I would like to say I wasn't right at the door. I was in, like, on uh, top Yeah, you're of on Mako. top of Mako, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Um... Uh, I'm still like, hey, I was just trying to do drugs. I don't, I don't understand what all this fuss is about. How do I? Oh no, use piece. Of shit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna roll initiative. Roll it from our sheets. Where is it? Yeah. It should be, yeah, sheet or utility. Oh, Opal's going hard. Where, where do you have it on your sheet at? Just top, top, right. top. Yeah, top right under your proficiency. And then you click the word actually. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Whose dice are those? Tano, your dice are sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then you. All right. I think we got everyone rolled, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm up in there. Oh, wait, Mike, um, if you click on your character sheet, there's an in, uh, initiative roll. You could click that one so that it puts it into your encounter thing. Character sheet. You double click your token and then. <clears throat> so I have my character sheet pulled up. What do I. On the top, right? What is that? Where the initiative is, right? Uh huh. There on my screen. Okay, there oh, we there go. you go. Oh, there we go. There you go. Nice. Alright, um, so we are going to begin. Uh, so up first is Strebby. What are you going to do? Like, we're just trying to knock him out or we're going to kill him? I know Count was grappling him. Yeah, you see him, like, like shove him like out. We trying to kill him or these two aren't the important ones, so their lives are forfeit. Maybe we could get some information or some sort, and you know, do drugs with them. Maybe they could be on our side. Maybe they can show us where the drugs are. All right, we can get information out of the one he's grabbed. I'm gonna throw a grenade in that room where the other one is. <laughs> God damn, <Okay>. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that's aggressive, but all right. <laughs> all right. There might be controls in there, man. Um, like, move up to 10 feet. Okay. Shuts the door behind it. Pull out this, like, taped up grenade, like, barely staying together. Okay. Oh, I have to be close to him, or can I throw it from here? I'll say you could throw it from there. Why not? That's a grenade. Yeah, I'll just whip it at him. We'll, we'll kind of... Use two grenades from the grenade list. Hold on. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Item weapons? Just 
drugs in there. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, um, yeah, you could make, like, a, a frag grenade, I guess, like, right here, hold on. Yeah. Doesn't have, like, two, right? So I just had two grenades? Yeah, I'm gonna go, yeah, frag grenades, you could do two of them, and, you know, I, toss them in there. I'm just gonna throw one, can I save the other one for doctor? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, go ahead and use one and we'll see what happens. Saving throw. Got it. And is it like I throw it in there and would die back like the other 10 feet for my movement? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I make it. <laughs> 12. He didn't make it. Alright, so what is the damage? Oh, there, right there. It's 1d12 piercing. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the best grenades. Great grenade you made there. It is a makeshift grenade. <laughs> it's like a fucking, like, firecracker, like, pop! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then that would be my turn. All right. George, what are you doing? There could be drugs in there. You guys do have drugs, right? <laughs> well, it wasn't a big explosion. Calm down. My mind didn't even explode. He just got a bruise from you hitting him with it. Yeah, it, it's like a, a welt from a paintball. <laughs> more confused. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Since I'm... Um, the Mako, I'm gonna aim the big ass gun at them and try to intimidate them. We've blown them up, we tried to grapple them, we got guns on them, we got the drop on them. Okay. Just, just surrender your drugs, put them on the ground, and we maybe won't kill you outright. <laughs> Roll intimidation. I should say with disadvantage, but I think I'll, I'll do straight intimidation because you're drunk. Oh, my God. Oh, holy shit. All right. Wow, those dice are funky. Yeah. So he, so they're like, look, at, they're kind of, uh, you know, looking at each other to like, you know, raise their hands up slowly. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. We're coming out. I'll fucking end combat on that if you don't want to kill him. That's up to everybody else, really. Yeah. I mean, oh, no. I'm not killing him. Okay, so they're they're all standing out there, raising their hands up. Uh, okay, we give up. Do we know the name? Drugs. <laughs> give no. us the drugs, man. We we don't know the name of the gal we're after, do we? Just that it's the leader. Yeah, you don't know the the name. <laughs> Who's in charge around here? Uh. I don't... I no, I can't do it. But they're there and they, he points towards the the north tunnel area. If you keep going down there, that's where the big like building is. What what do you work for them for? I mean, money. You know, I get paid to do things, and you know, money uh, and drugs. Sure. We have those things. Work for us, and give me your drugs. <laughs> no, I, I, we don't have drugs. But specifically on our person, we don't have them. But we, you we traffic s- red sands here, don't you? Uh, Is red sands a Mass Effect drug? Yes, that's the one where people get crazy because um, that amplifies their bio- biotic powers. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the biotic gods thing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And then they're like, uh... Yeah, yeah, but you know, our jobs are just you know protecting you know what we can over here. Obviously, you've destroyed our turrets, so good job on that. 
I'm going to get fired so, for this. Did we ask them the name of the leader? No. Well, I mean, that you you did, but they won't give it to you. They're they're, they're kind of, um, you know, panicky and all this. All right, I'm gonna speed this along. I'm gonna put handcuffs on this one on the left. Okay. I'm gonna tell the one on the right to take his helmet off. Uh, okay. I'm gonna hold the shot to the one on the right. Okay, and he slowly takes off the helmet, and it's, um, it's it's a human. Uh, oh, male. Perfect. Okay. Um, I say, a house away from everybody else, just you two. Are you lovers? N no. Mm, just friends. Wait, wait, what? No. Mm. Tell me the name of your leader, or this human gets it. I'll, I'll also aim the Mako gun at the one that you're talking at. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. Tell us the name of your leader. Or your All right. Fucking whoever wh whoever wants to roll intimidation, do it with advantage. I'm not good at it. Plus one. <laughs> thirteen. Okay. Um, with a thirteen, you he won't um budge on the name, but he will tell you that it's an Asari. Are you not going to get fired? For giving up this post i mean you you're pointing guns at us so i'm pretty much gonna be either you know jobless or gonna die one of the two so what i propose to you rather than dying like a dog you can follow with us and fight with us and help us obtain your leader this is all we need we just need your leader we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to burn the place down. We just need your leader. Were we you... not sent here to eliminate the hostiles? We were sent here to bring the leader back. Oh, Is that okay. not the deal? I mean, I he doesn't know. Blow stuff up. <laughs> I'm kind of drunk. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> Mike's character doesn't know that part. All he knows is that you you are going to eliminate the threat one way or another. Yeah. No, I uh, think that the kidnapping is a part of the official mission. Yeah, that that's yeah. fair. Yeah. <clears throat> well, so I say, all right, we only need one of you alive for information. So whoever coughs up the best information right now gets to live. What's the security at the warehouse? Um. So is the one on the on um, closest to me is he like standing up and the other one's handcuffed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. And where is the drugs? I do you have drugs on you or in there? There are no drugs here. No. Inside. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh shit. Um. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so he he looks um, pretty solid. Um, you know, he doesn't look like he's breaking a sweat about the drugs part, but there is, like, some other things that might be in there, but it's not drugs. Well, he's hiding something. Squire, go search the premise inside. See what you could find. So this one in front of me, I'm going to kick the back of his knee and get him down on his knees and point my uh, pistol right at the back of his head and be like, if I find anything in there, I'm going to kill you. So you just tell me now, or you can die later. When he does that, I move the Mako machine gun <laughs> over <laughs> to that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fucking obliterate this person. So he's like... Fuck, all right, it's just money. It's just a little bit of money. You know, it's our, like, savings here. You live here together and you are not lovers? We are not lovers, for God's sakes. Why do you have a house separate from everybody else? The, the, it's I a see... barracks. What are you talking about? I see they have two separate beds, but still, you live here it's together. The, it's They're a barracks. Together. Oh, my God. Look, it, it's look. It's not our fault that your living situation is confused. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, but it's just a small barracks. That's that's all there is to it. Like, there's nothing there. 
And you know, if you if you go through here, all it is is a few thousand credits. That's that's it. So you aren't lovers? No, we're just insane. Okay. <laughs> what go are ahead. you on about? Admiral? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that little thing where I like. Oh. oh God. Oh. <laughs> Well, definitely not lovers. I'm just going to whisper in his ear, be like, I'm going to go look now, and if you move, he's going to shoot you with that massive cannon and probably kill all of us. So, just don't move. And I'm going to go in and search. Alright. Still holding my barrel of moonshine. Alright, uh, yeah, you go in. Um, I guess you could go ahead and roll investigation. I'm gonna keep a watch, like watching over here with my shotgun, just like turret mode. Yellow over to Jin. Um, Jin, you see anything over there? All right. So as he mentioned, you you look around and um, you notice there's a couple of bags on the corner. Um, and yeah, he he had like three thousand credits, and then um, as long as he went through. Uh, the bag there's another bag in a the corner there and there's uh two standard med medi gel oh nice i'm taking all of it okay and then um in there also you see like control panel which is obviously the controls for the, the, the turret that you all destroyed so oh. i believe you don't have any drugs but would you like to do some drugs I mean, no, not particularly. How big are these bags? Um, they're like uh, kind of small duffel bags in a sense, you know? They're not like huge. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to pull out a mind fish because that, that was the thing and be like, yeah, I will give you each one of these if you tell me the name. Of your league. I, I, I don't even know what that thing is. It will get you very fucked up for a very long time. You can go sleep in your separate beds for days <laughs> on end. Or together. No judgment. No judgment. <laughs> None at all. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> um, you know what? Fuck. Throw a persuasion in there. See what happens. Um, I, I thanks for the offer, but I don't think that looks appealing. I mean, it looks kind of gross, to be honest. I don't think it was an offer. I think that's, it was your order. That's rather impolite. So, what to do with these two? I'm just going to look at uh, Ops and be like, uh, I shrug my shoulders and cock my shotgun. <laughs> I'm just going to, the one that's in front of me, I'm just going to smack him in the back, like freaking uh, pistol whip him right in the back of the head to try and knock him out. Okay. Oh, non-lethal. Okay. I do that too. <laughs> non-lethal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, roll, uh, roll the hit. I don't know. Uh, X or strength on his left. Uh... Just butt him with the back with the shotgun. <laughs> That's so brutal. Oh, okay. Well, easily enough, you just whack him in the head and he just knocked out. These are weak dudes, so. I guess you, you would do the same, uh, Mike, or? Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, roll strength or dex. I gotta reload foundry. Just so yeah, sometimes it does. Give him the business. Shh. Beat him up. The the business. 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 Um, now it's not loading. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Come on. Foundry be laggy. Come on. Foundry's like that sometimes. Seven plus my strength is zero, so seven. Okay. Can I try to 
use some telekinetic ability to lift him up. <sighs> yeah. We'll just lift him and drop him on his head. Uh, I'll just do oh, this just for fun. I don't think it actually works on a creature. No, I think I read that wrong. Why did I roll a strength saving throw? No, that was for me. For my, oh. uh, okay. my NPC. I just forgot that. If you're going to let it you. happen. I'll, I'll, I'll let it happen. Th then I'll slam him down. Okay. Hey, Let's yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh, beautiful damage. Pathetic. Alright. Great. Oh, drop him, him on his head. Just, drop him on his head and he just has a bloody nose. I'm just gonna look at you like, oh my god, and I'm gonna <laughs> go over there and pistol whip that one. Right, <laughs> go ahead. Straight through decks. Easily enough. You just smack them. Oh my god, I'm dealing with amateurs. Your, your uh, AC is 10, so yeah. <laughs> come on, that was pretty good. I lifted that guy in the air and dropped him on his head. Take no, his helmet. Take, take both of the helmets off. Yes, and then here. And then I'll take one of my and fish, and I will empty the oils out into their mouths. Oh, gross. All right. And drug them both. All right, so they're both you, human. I'm going to go you ahead and actually roll. read my mind. I'm going to roll just for fun. Constitution, see what happens. Right? G g that that should that makes sense, right, guys? Oh Jesus! They, this is a uh, very powerful on non on our species. Oh God. Okay. Um. So I'll say with the nat twenty minus one, uh, they. They felt good. I mean, they've been through some drugs, yes. So it's like another day. But the one that's a 15, um, it's kind of similar, except I think he has the uh, a, a little bit of a harsher effect. So he's kind of dazed and confused right now. So then we shall bring them with us and use them as bargaining chips, yes? I doubt they'll be useful as bargaining chips. <laughs> it should be worth at least five credits each, no? If anything, oh. their bodies would be a better threat. Put them in the cargo hold. Oh, All great. Right. More space. Or you can just, like, tie them to the roof, no? Ooh, time to the cannon. Ratchet strap them up there. <laughs> I don't know if we'd want them inside. <laughs> Just throw them up on top. And I would say we need to... Alright, I guess we follow the tunnel and get to this warehouse. Will the Mako be able to drive, like, up here where the path gets all jagged? Yeah, yeah, it, it's a tight fit, but it'll make it. All right. Man, you know how some of the places I got that thing in the game? True. That, that is true. Let's go. Let's um, go. Hold on. Um, before we do, I make sure where they're tied on the roof, I, I make them hold hands so that they're comfortable. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let's go. Hold on. Go back to that first building we were at. Uh-huh. And I get him to pull up, and then I load up a few oh, of Jesus. The, the alcohol barrels. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love in the very serious militaristic disciplined Mass Effect universe where it's just fucking around. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking around. Nobody's stopping me. I'm gonna hop on the tank. Or... Yeah, if everybody hop is ready, we'll go in the next area and then I'll yep. uh, call it there. So let's see the area. My bad. Oh, that's all good. I'm gonna switch it anyway. Hold on. Mm. 
you all in here. Whatever, that's Mako. I'll fix that later. Okay, so as you go through the tunnel there, um, you notice, yeah, there's like a big compound building area where there's things to go through. Uh, it's all black for me. Yeah, me too. And I thought I pushed. There we go. Save. Boom. Nice. And yeah, you notice there's some trees and bushes around and there's like buildings to go through. So this exits above ground? Yeah, it goes uphill a bit and then it, it uh you see the uh yeah, like a building compound thing. Okay. Guess that's where we should end our session. That was pretty fun. Only half hours and yeah it's two and a half hours but um yeah i thought that this would be a good time too because there, obviously there's stuff in here so yeah no that was great yeah that was fun it was amazing fun i liked it very people are, are people people are very uh crazy so that's good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meets it's new people D &D do you have drugs yeah, pretty much. Hey, it's drugs. We I can't stop. sell uh, barrels of alcohol. That's not worth something. I think we need to make a stop at the rehab planet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so let me go ahead and end my wait. stream. Just wait till I get my hands on this red sand. Oh, Hell yeah. God. And uh, we'll go back again um, next Saturday, depending on. I guess count schedule and go around the same time, if not a little earlier than that, depending. It'll be the same time. Okay. We'll do it again. I, I apparently close the next, like, three Saturdays. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. I'll uh, go ahead and set that up, uh, you know, about the same time, about 9.30, 8.30 Central. Um, and we'll just wait till people pile, pile on in and I'll stream again and see what happens next time. All right. That sounds fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Until next time. And it was a, a lot of fun. Hopefully you, you enjoyed this, uh, so far. Oh yeah. This is great. Stream and I'll upload this stuff on YouTube. So thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know if I have anybody to Read out. Hold on. I do not see anyone. Wow. No donos? You know. Fine. Friendos. Oh, there's violent. Raid violent kitten. All right, let's go ahead and raid. Mm. All right, I'm going to raid and uh, we'll be back next Saturday with more shenanigans. Alright. That sounds fun. Hope y'all have a good week. Yeah. Oh, you.